Hey guys, welcome back. Oh shoot, sorry. Lighting. Behind big building. Sun gone. Welcome back. Uh, yeah, oh there we go. Okay, a little bit better than this. Um, welcome back. It's Charlie. It's Sunday, almost 12 o'clock Pacific Coast Standard Time. Um, it's a beautiful day actually. It's not too hot and it's just right with an ever so slight breeze. I had this creepy fog bank roll in this morning. I was on, the, on my way to go check my mail and at first I thought it was, it was kind of like south of Colorado. I thought it was a fire, but uh, it was just this weird outer limits fog bank that just rolled in and as quickly as it moved in, it just rolled right out. But, um, no, it's a nice day. Had a bit of a weird thing going on last night. I was on my way going up to Orange Grove to run some errands in the evening. And um, <clears throat> right where my, my buddy and I, we, we sleep at our spot. That's what it's called. It's called the spot. Where's your spot? What do you, who, is this your spot? It's the spot. So... <clears throat> I'm walking by and there's this girl that was sitting in the chair we have there and she's like, excuse me, do you have a cigarette? And I'm like walking towards her, she looked kind of familiar, this short little cute little blonde white girl, young thing. I'm like, no, sorry I don't smoke. She's like, can you come over and talk to me? And I'm like, I'm walking over, I go, Donna, is that you? She's like, no. And I'm like, oh, shoot. Uh, cute little girl wearing a black top and uh, wearing these black leggings, kind of like they were like slitted, like the fashion thing. She was crying up a storm. She was crying and could barely talk, mascara running and everything. I go, what's, I go, what's wrong, you know? She's like... Oh, a whole bunch of shit. And I'm like, are you all right? And she's like, no. I was beat up. I was hit. And I'm like, who hit you? And she didn't want to say. I go, was it your boyfriend, your man? She's like, yeah, he hit me real hard. And she took my hand. She put it up to her face. On her left side, it was like, it was, it was welted. It was pretty bad. She got hit pretty bad. So, I'm late for, for an appointment that I had to go run an errand for a friend. Oh, excuse me, I had a breath. So I, was, I spent like 15 minutes talking to her and stuff, and she was pretty bad. I go, well, where do you live? She goes, well, nowhere right now. I don't know what's going to happen. I guess I'm homeless for, for now. I go, oh. I go, that's, that's not right. I really felt bad for her. And she seemed like a nice person. I could, I could smell the alcohol coming off of her. I'm like, and I'm thinking, I'm like, God, are you testing me again? Hit me below the belt. He knows my soft spot. Blonde, Caucasian, blue eyed. That's my soft spot. Being anything 10 years younger than me, yeah. They all, I don't want to seem sound, sound conceited, but they always gravitate towards me. I just, like little lost puppies. So I go, I go, I go, look, I, I, I gotta go, I go, just to let you know, this is kind of a, uh, my spot, you know. I go, I'm homeless. She's like, you're homeless? Oh, wow, you don't look homeless. And I'm like, yeah, I'm homeless. Are you sure you're homeless? I go, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty darn sure I'm, I'm homeless. She goes, you don't look, you don't look or sound homeless. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm homeless. I go, um, I got to go. I go, do you need anything? Do you, I go, she goes, I don't know how to get back home. I don't know if I, how I'm going to get home. I got no money. And he took my purse and everything. And I'm like, ah, oh, crap. 
I go, look, I can give you, uh, I can give you, I can give you some money if you want to go get some beer or something. Just tell she wanted some beer. And I gave her a couple of bus tokens to hop back on the train. I think she said she's, uh, she's from Highland or something. I go, well, you know, on my way back, I'll check up on you if you're here. If, if you're not here, then I'll just assume that, that uh, you're cool and you're making it back back home and stuff. She's like, okay, thanks. I go, just, just take care of yourself. I go, just, you know. She goes, yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to fight back. I go, yeah, you don't really want to fight back because you're you're going to get pummeled even harder and make it worse. And, you know, he's, he's done this before. And I'm like, fuck, that sucks. Like, okay. So on my way back, I was gone for about maybe 20, 30 minutes on my way back. Um, and she was, she was gone. I was kind of telling her, yeah, basically, you know, if you need to, you can stay here, but you know, my friend is going to come go to sleep and stuff like that because my, my buddy's sick. I go, basically, I was trying to be as gentle as possible. I was like, yeah, you really can't stay here unless, you know, it's okay with my, my friend and stuff like that. But I guess um, I guess she's okay. It's funny because I, I, I gave her a card. I go, you know, gave her one of my business cards, and she's like, Wait a minute! You're homeless and and you got a YouTube channel, boy. You you must be you must have a lot of money. I go, I go, honey. If I had a lot of money, I definitely would not be here. A misconception about everybody is like if you if you have a YouTube channel, everybody thinks that you're like rolling of the dough. That you you're like uh, uh, Casey Neistat, Philip DeFranco. You know, don't get me wrong. I love those guys. I I, I subscribe to the channel. I watch them all the time. But um, no, no, definitely no. no. Anybody, you know, that's got a YouTube channel, you know, if they're lucky enough to find that certain niche, you know, more power to you. you know? But anyway, um, if you remembered, if you pulled uh, my business card out of your your brazier where you stuffed it, um, Crystal. Um, I hope you're you're doing okay. Uh, don't let that happen again. Don't let this fucker touch you again like that. Get away, run away. Definitely can do a lot better. But uh, yeah, it was just a little bit of a little bit of a weird experience last night. So, other than that, no other excitement. Nothing spectacular. No, no real crazy weirdness or anything so just as well as the way I prefer it but anyway guys I'm going to end the vlog here you guys take care of yourselves take care of each other and as always take care of yourselves first before you take care of someone else um, don't take today for granted or any other day thereafter so always pull your pads down and slide on that ice get some frostbitten cheeks and uh, I will talk to you guys later all right love you all and uh, I'll upload this as soon as I can as soon as I get inside the, the library the library don't open until one so Whew. kind of rough anyway guys I shall talk to you guys later if you like the video hit the thumbs up and please subscribe and tell everybody about me Right. Take care. Love you. Bye.